Have you ever wondered if the universe has a smallest, most fundamental building block? Like a single pixel in a high-definition image, could our reality itself be divided into the tiniest units, so small that nothing can be smaller? Stick with me, because today we're diving deep into what I find to be one of the most mind-bending ideas in physics. The Planck Length. It's a concept that forces us to rethink the very nature of space, time, and even reality itself. It's not just physics. It's a philosophical wake-up call. So buckle up. This is going to be a fascinating ride. All right, before we jump into what the Planck length is, let's start with a little background. To understand it, we need to talk about the constants of nature, those mysterious numbers that govern how the universe works. You've probably heard of some of them, like the speed of light, or C, which clocks in at 300,000 kilometers per second or Planck's constant, which dictates how quantum particles behave. Another big one is Newton's gravitational constant, which quantifies the force of gravity. Now, here's where things get interesting. The Planck length comes from smashing these constants together in a mathematical equation. If you combine the speed of light, Planck's constant, and Newton's gravitational constant in just the right way, you get this extraordinarily tiny number, 1.6 times 10, to the negative 35 meters. I know, that probably sounds abstract, but let's break it down into something relatable. 